Hello viewers, welcome to next video in the series of non-probability sampling. This is Dr. Sumit Bakshi. In this video, I am going to discuss purposive sampling. I am going to cover its example, meaning why and when to use disadvantages and advantages of purposive sampling. First, let me explain purposive sampling through an example. Example here is a researcher wants to compare health status of common people who play different games in a city. For this, researcher needs those participants who play some game regularly to fulfill purpose of the study. So the first thing researcher will do is reject those members who do not play any game. In this picture, you can see these members are not playing any game. Researcher will reject these members. Next, researcher needs to fix criteria of number of hours a person plays a game in a week or month. The members who do not fulfill this criteria will be rejected. A researcher will use his or her own judgment to handpick sample. Even if this sample does not be a true representative of population, but this sample should have common characteristics which researcher wants to study and a searcher should be able to get maximum information from these members. In this picture, it is shown people playing different games. The searcher will select only those who play specific games which he wants to study. For example, the searcher wants to compare health status of people who play basketball and football. So, a searcher will reject all the other members who do not play basketball and football. Here first question is, is which a searcher will ask from members while selecting sample do you play football or basketball? If he gets the answer yes then next question will be how many hours in a week do you play? On the basis of this information searcher will judge whether he wants to handpick that member or not for the sample. So what is purposive sampling? Purposive sampling as the name suggests sample selected on purpose. In purposive sampling researchers select members or I can say handpick sample as per his or her own judgment to fulfill purpose of the study. Here purpose is the main thing which needs to focus. Judgment for the selection is based on the objectives of the study as we have seen in the previous example. A searcher must have prior knowledge of specific common characteristics of subgroup which is relevant to objective of the study so that he or she can rightly choose and approach eligible member to collect the data. A searcher rejects members who do not fulfill or fit in the expected criteria. In the sampling method, researcher thoroughly think through how he will establish sample from the population to attain purpose of the study, even when it is not statistically representative of the greater population at hand. As in previous example, researcher set the criteria of number of hours a person plays in a week or a month. Accordingly, he selected or rejected members. Purposive sampling is also known as judgment sampling, deliberate sampling, authoritative sampling, selective sampling or subjective sampling. Next most important thing to discuss is why and when to use purposive sampling. It is mostly misinterpreted that in purposive sampling researcher makes choices based on judgment to make sample true representative of the population. But that's not true. In purposive sampling, statistically sample will never be a true representative of the population. For that, researcher needs to go for probability sampling methods. Purposive sampling is used on purpose to get the sample from whom researcher can get maximum information as we have seen in the example. When a searcher wants to select subset of population with some common characteristics of the study, purposive sampling is used. It is also used when there are limited number of primary data available for study. There are many disadvantages of purposive sampling. It is difficult to generalize findings in case of purposive sampling as it is non-probability sampling method. Personal prejudice of researcher may affect validity of the study. Personal prejudice means researcher's own set of belief.
देर कैन बी सिलेक्शन बायस ड्यू टू रिसर्च ऑन जजमेंट रिसर्चर कैन बी बायस टूवर्ड्स अ पर्टिकुलर मेंबर there can be unintentional error in judgment by the researcher as humans have tendency to make errors in our judgment it is less reliable and subjective method because it involves judgment of researcher difficult to defend choices of participants researcher can never fully defend why he has chosen a particular participant there are few advantages also it is cost effective and time saving method it is flexible and versatile due to various techniques can be used in this method which i have not discussed in this video for that i need to make a separate video it is simple and straight forward method it is useful when there are limited number of primary data available that's all thank you please press like button if you like the video and subscribe to dr sumit bakshi share your feedback in the comment section below and don't forget to share with your peers if you find it worth thank you